Hey everybody, Brooks and Dr. Downs here. Welcome back to the town. I'm back up at my dealership, Magnum Motors up here in Maryland. And today is Porsche day. We got some new inventory in. Check out this Porsche 911 R white with I believe it's acid green stripes. This just came in. This we got at auction. It's an old school air cooled turbo S with, I think this is what they call the whale tail over here on the back. Look at that thing. Wow. Just wow. We got a new Heritage 4 GT that just came in. Testarossa is still available. We had someone come look at today. Might be gone soon. We also get this crazy Widowmaker, the GT2 RS old school. That thing's pretty wild. McLaren, we got this Audi in 920S4. This might be sold. Look at this Mercedes AMG wagon. This thing's pretty wild too. Hey, we're doing a video on the Porsche 992 Sport Classic. It's right out here waiting for us. Let's get into it and check it out. This just came into inventory. There was only 1,250 of these available. All right, so check it out. We got paint to sample, British racing green. Now the Sport Classic is based on the Porsche 992 Turbo, not the Turbo S, but it's got the classic lines of the original Porsche. So you can see the intake vents uh, for the Porsche Turbos are gone. And unlike the Porsche Turbo and the Turbo S, this is actually rear wheel drive, which saves 200 pounds of weight. They reduce the power down to 540 horsepower because I believe the seven speed manual transmission is can't handle all the torque that the turbo and the turbo S make. So when you drop those 200 pounds, the power to rate ratio is, is actually better than the regular Porsche turbo. Onto the back, you got the classic rear spoiler from the old days. We got some gold trim. We got the racing exhaust with the silver tips on the back and the kind of gold Porsche sport classic emblems on the back here. Onto the inside, it's pretty wild as well. It's got the heritage interior to match. And right here, as you can see, we have the original window sticker. It comes in at 301,000. We'll kind of go over some of the options right here. Uh, we got the classic kind of sport heritage interior right here with the kind of checkerboard. This has the Burmeister upgraded stereo system as well. Onto the inside, we got some wood trim for the paneling. And of course, look at this. We got a manual seven speed gearbox with the power of a Porsche Turbo. This thing must be wild to drive. We're gonna take it out for a drive in a couple minutes, but first let's go over all the options this car has. All right, so going with the options, we've got paint to sample. The British Racing Green comes in at $12,830. This also has the Heritage Design Interior, which because it's a Sport Classic, I guess that's included, no charge. This has the Power Steering Plus, which came in at $280. Fire extinguisher, uh, folding mirrors, um, it also has the lane change assist that comes at $1,060. That is these lights that appear on the side view mirrors so that if someone's in your blind spot, it kind of lights up and lets you know that someone's there. This also has the night vision assist. I've never used that before, but I guess it's got an infrared camera or something in the front, which will show you up on the screen here. If uh, maybe an animal or, or a person is in front of you, it will help you drive at night. That comes in at $2,540. Next up, we have the Burmeister high-end surround sound system. That comes at $3,980. You can see we got some of the Burmeister details up there, around with the speakers on there. And I believe there's some in the back as well. Other options are the pedals are in aluminum, but of course we have the protective uh, items on there, so you can't quite see that. That comes in at $630. This also has the silver accents package. That is no charge. Lane keep assist, including traffic sign recognition, $1,220. Uh, ambient lighting, $580. Under door panel light projectors on the doors, which go down, that's $160. This also has the lightweight and noise insulated glass. So that's supposed to reduce the weight of the windows and also keep noise um, from coming in from the outside. That seems counterintuitive. You figure lightweight glass would bring more noise in. So not sure what Porsche is doing with that. But, anyways, lighter glass and less noise, $1,250. Now also included, I don't know if paint the sample always comes with that, but the key is actually painted in the British Racing Green as well. Starting this Porsche is a little different because of course it is a manual transmission. So you do have to press in the clutch, go over here and turn that and you can hear it start up. Now over here we got our sport exhaust. You can turn that on and off. We got our front lift that raises and lowers the car. Pretty quick, nice. Our traction control and then our Porsche Dynamic uh, suspension control button right here. Seven speeds, reverse is up and push and up like that. So that puts the car in reverse. And then you got your standard through the gears all the way up to seventh gear. This Porsche also comes with the 360 surround camera so you can click on what view you want. If you want front, 
or back or the 360 views you can kind of go through the different settings and look left and right to help you with parking and not dinging up the wheels press x to close that out include as android auto and carplay i believe this is wireless but if you want to plug in you can pop open the center console right here and it's got two usb c ports as well in the back seats you can see pretty tight of course in the 911s but uh you could probably put some small kids in there or an adult sideways in a pinch situation. Steering wheel is your standard kind of leather wrapped steering wheel. You will notice there is no sport chrono button for the extra over boost as in the Turbo S. This just has your different drive modes which you can kind of cycle through right here. It says check tires. We do have to bring in service, but there you go. If you cycle through here, you got normal, sport, sport plus, and individual kind of standard Porsche stuff. Over here, we got a nice kind of green tachometer right there. And it says Sport Classic, of course. Seats are super comfortable. It's got 18-way power seats. If you open up down here, we can kind of take a look. Down here, you got all the different seat controls down here. This opens the rear uh, engine hatch. This opens the front bonnet here, right here. All right, so we're about to go off our drive. Let's hear what this thing sounds like. We'll give it a couple revs. <laughs> All right, time to take this Porsche Sport Classic for a spin. I got Casey with me in here. He is a longtime Porsche expert. Hey, guys. And uh, he's going to teach me how to drive stick. Ha! Just kidding. I'm not drive stick. <laughs> so let's jump in here. We already went over the interior bits. We got a seven-speed transmission, 540 horsepower, 200 pounds lighter than the regular Porsche Turbo, and it's rear-wheel drive. So... This car is for sale. If you want to hit us up, magdenmotors.com, you'll check it out. We're not doing launch control or anything crazy because obviously it's a car for sale. We're just going to take it for a nice drive. Let's go. All right. This thing, it's got a lot of power. Not going to lie, this thing, uh, pretty torquey. Yeah, it's got effectively the same uh, engine setup that you find in a turbo or turbo S, but being that there's no holes in the side of it. Right. The intercooling is done through the top of the engine like in a normal 911. Okay. Uh, so, and of course, with left here. With the manual transmission, they also wanted to reduce a little bit of power output, which is why you have you know, somewhere in the 540s. Right. You know, it's, it's a rad car. Now, I was reading that this is the quickest manual transmission Porsche you can buy right now. Oh, or no, most powerful. Yes. Is that uh, true? Yeah, I guess you're right. Uh, left here. Yeah, not, you know, 911 GT3s have right around 500. Okay. Um, and that's the other high horsepower Porsche you can go with the stick. Nice. What do you think of the interior? I like the interior a lot. It's great. I did mention on Instagram, by the way, that I did order a new Porsche. This will be my first Porsche ever. I ordered a brand new 2024 Porsche Turbo S. Um, that is actually, I got a good allocation. It's coming in three months. That's great. So uh, hello. It's on my Porsche app and everything. I'm going to do a separate video, kind of going through the spec. I got about two weeks to lock that in. So from all you Porsche fanboys out there, you can uh, let me know how I did on the spec. Easy to shift. Now, this has that auto start thing if you do stall it. Is that true? That is correct. Okay. So if you do stall one of these, which I'm not going to, um, you can, it just starts for you automatically. It's kind of, yeah, kind of pretty cool. When you push the clutch back, yeah. it fires it. So I'm just cruising in a second. We're going to give it a... Wow. Not slow. It's actually a lot of fun to drive. Everyone always wants to bring the manuals back. I'm always a little bit not a big fan of that because I always like to be the fastest. And obviously, you're not going to be the fastest with a manual transmission. But it is fun to drive and uh, definitely engaging in this car. <laughs> this is great, I keep reaching for the paddles. <laughs> I keep reaching back here to downshift, even though I know I'm doing it over here. So they made how many of these, 1,250? 1,250 for the world. You could probably not find the amount that they sold to the United States, but okay. you know, probably around three, 350, somewhere around there. 350 came to the United States? As an estimate, okay. I would tell you the majority of those were grabbed by 918 buyers through the 918 exclusive program, uh, um, which a lot of these really limited production cars came from. This right. is uh, number 159 of 1250. Okay. It's finished so each in. one is actually has the label on it of it what does. number it is? It's right here. On it's the right there? Okay, yeah. cool. Whoa! All right. 
I forgot rear wheel drive. When you think of turbo, Porsche turbo and turbo S, you always think all wheel drive. At least I do, for sure. Yeah. All right, here we go. Get a little point of view action. Driving the Turf uh, Porsche Sport Classic. Okay. All right, so now you can see what kind of This thing moves. So down here you can see it tells you what gear you're in, which is kind of nice. So it tells you third gear, gives a little upshift light to tell you when to upshift. So now we're okay to go into fourth. There we go. And back down into third. Hope we're not behind this truck for too long. So weird, I keep reaching for that paddle shifter to downshift. Can I show you a little trick? Sure. If we put ourselves in Sport Plus mode, okay. it should rev match your downshifts. Okay. I might be completely wrong. Nope. Oh, right. look at that. That was cool. So we got rev matching in Sport Plus. Now what does that do for you? Uh, basically it's designed to not upset the car when you're in a turn. Okay. It can also make the transition uh, to get, so you don't have to use the engine itself to spin the car, to spin it back up and slow down that. the amount oh, of yeah. time between shifts. I see that. Do all Porsches have that? All cars, all manual transmission Porsches with Sport Chrono package do. Have the rev matching? Yep. Okay. Look at that. That is really cool. It's a little bit of mechanical sim uh, sympathy for the engine. It yeah. also, like I said, keeps it from upsetting the car as you have to downshift in a corner. Right. They move. the suspension compared to Porsche Turbo, Turbo S? Same? It's sportier. This is sportier? I mean, they use different spring rates, different sway bars, of course, because it's rear wheel drive versus four wheel drive. Okay. Um, so anytime you change the weight in the car, and of course, being that it's a sport classic, they want it to be it's still a touring car. It's a little bit more aggressive, so the sway bar rates and spring rates are different. Hasm, the Porsche Active Suspension Management, is also tuned to a little bit different. Porsche 911 Sport Classic stands as a testament to Porsche's legendary heritage, seamlessly blending iconic design with modern performance. Drawing inspiration from historical models with its double bubble roof and fixed rear spoiler echoing the style of the 1973 Carrera RS 2.7, the 4.0 liter six-cylinder boxer engine delivers 543 horsepower through a seven-speed manual transmission, making it the most powerful manual 911 available. The interior marries nostalgia with luxury with the latest in Porsche technology. Driving the 911 Sport Classic is an unparalleled experience, offers thrilling acceleration, precise handling, and a perfectly tuned balance between sportiness and comfort. With only 1,250 units produced, this rare model is more than just a vehicle. It's a piece of Porsche storied legacy, designed for those who cherish both the drive and the heritage. The Porsche 911 Sport Classic is a celebration of automotive excellence, a collector's dream that bridges Porsche's illustrious past with its innovative future. If you're interested in purchasing this Sport Classic, head over to MagdenMotors.com for all the details.